Hello, we would like to introduce compact and high function LCD panel tester called as PGL series. There are two types of testers. One is for testing LVDS panel and the other is for EDP lane 4 lane panel. I'm going to show you the video of product and product demonstration. But before, I'll show you a brief spe specification of the product. Okay, let's see. It has slim and portable size and and the maximum resolution is 2560 by 1600. Uh, it can be indicated LCM EEPROM checksum and can control 100 hertz with 120 hertz with four channel LVDS output. It has three volts. It has three voltages: 3.3, 5, and 12. Um, it, it also has EEPROM, EEPROM, and it, it is readable and writable as option. Uh, it it can test. It can test f varied monitors with 46 installed patterns, including two pieces of 3D patterns. Uh, also, it has auto run, and, and this makes patterns change automatically. Okay, now I'm gonna show you the video. This PGL is a product which is developed for a laptop or TV. It has compact and slim size, so it's portable and easy to use. Okay, I'll show you details of each functions. In the front side, you can link 12 volt power supply. This is auto run and it makes pattern change automatically. When it shows on zero, you can change patterns manually as pushing the button. When it shows on one, pattern changes with one second intervals. This is EEPROM and you can read a, read a LCD panel EEPROM data. When you push the button at length, it can control variable of PWM duty. You can control this with PC when you connect the additional cable at the socket. Okay, let's see the upper side. This part set up the LCM VCC, so you should set it up firstly. Because using the 15 inch laptop panel, I'm gonna set it up at 3.3 volt. This display shows each current situation of function. In advance, we entered the data of 46 LCD model. So, so the, this as LCD selector can make it to set up each model with dip switch. FYI, most resolution of laptop is written on this table. So check the table to set it up. As I said before, these buttons are used for making the pattern or PWM up and down. When using PWM, please push here in length. Okay, when you see here, there's two LVDS channel connectors. It is composed as 1, 2, 3, 4. When you're testing 100Hz full HDTV, you should connect all because it is composed of 4 channel. When testing a laptop or monitor, uh, uh, as most models are channel 1, 2, you should connect here. Okay, now I'm going to show you how it works. To begin with, this laptop panel has built-in LDD drive. This model hasn't. The former just connect the cable to PGL the panel and just turn up turn the power on that's all but the latter because this model hasn't built in LED drive so you should use our LED drive together it also applied the voltage to panel This, this LED drive can be used from iPad to laptop 17 inch panel without any operation. Now I'm gonna power up this model panel. First, connect the signal cable. As I said before, the panel with LED drive can be connected directly but this panel doesn't have it so it gives not only a signal to drive, but also a voltage to panel. 
Check the 3.3 volt. As is 136768 panel, check the dip switch too. Okay, let's connect the power. Switch on. You can see the display on. You can find ch pattern changing when you push the up down button. Okay, now I'll show you the more details of the functions. You can change the pattern manually, but when you set the auto run to 1, pattern changes each 1 second. Okay, when you set it to 2, pattern changes each 2 seconds. back to zero, you can set it uh, uh, manually again. When you push the EEPROM button once, the display shows the reading of the panel. And when you push the button in length, it shows the PWM value. 100 is maximum. When you, when you decrease the value, you can see the panel darkening. You can come back to pattern changing mode when you push the EEPROM button once again. Um, I'll show you regulating the PWM value one again with more clear pattern. This, okay. Push in length, decrease the value, and you can see the panel going dark. It goes bright when you increase the value. Okay, that's all about it. Thank you for listening.